Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part three of Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Uh, so right now, what I'm showing you is the save feature, because, again, in the original Super Nintendo game, they gave you a password that you had to memorize and write down in order to go back to your, you know, progress. But since we're on the PSP and passwords are outdated, and we just want to quick jump in and play, now you can save your progress at any point, uh, even between the Sigma castles. Like, you could get to Sigma 3, save your progress, and when you turn the game on, you can go directly to Sigma 3. Because the thing about the original Mega Man X, they didn't really have a password that lets you go in between the Sigma castles. You had to start from Sigma 1 and go all the way to the final boss uh, every time you turned on the game. So it was kind of inconvenient, let's say that, but, uh, you know. So right now we're taking on Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle's heart tank, right there. Just make a big dash jump. <laughs> so I don't know how many people are disappointed that this isn't a really expansive remake like Mega Man Powered Up was. Because again, Powered Up changed the level design. They added construction mode that let you customize your own levels. They had uh, the old school mode as well, and you know, playable robot masters and all the works and stuff. And if you played that first, and then you come to Maverick Hunter X, and you're just like, Oh, it's just a remake of Mega Man X. I know exactly where the heart tanks and sub-tanks are. I know exactly how the enemies operate, and blah 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 blah. I could see how someone could be disappointed by that, but again, this is Mega Man X, one of the best Mega Man games ever made, and it's still satisfying to play, so I don't really have too much of an issue with it. With this part, you gotta stand at the very left of the platform sometimes, because that way the turrets that shoot flamethrowers won't turn on immediately, you know? Sometimes if you're just a fair distance away and you're like at the very edge of the platform, they won't activate their fire and uh, you won't have to worry about getting killed. All bottomless pit here. And that, that, that's never fun. Never fun indeed. Sorry, I got silent there. I'm enjoying the soundtrack way too much. <laughs> I always loved Storm Eagle's theme. Storm Eagle's theme was the best thing. Uh, but I digress. Go down here, and we shall find another Dr. Light capsule. Uh, and you do need the headbutt upgrades in order to get this one, so if you come here without going to Chill Penguins first, you won't get it. Inside this castle are the body parts. Into the castle and equip them, and any damage you incur will be halved. It saddens me to think that the war has begun, but I know that you can bring it to a peaceful conclusion, X. Oh, do you, Dr. Light? You're so sure, huh? You're so sure! <laughs> Dr. Light also sporting the same exact voice actor that was in Mega Man Powered Up. And that must be really weird for an actor when you have to do two different sides of a character, you know? Like, in the classic series, Dr. Light is a little bit more jolly, and he's just all like, Cutman? You want to save the other robots and defeat Dr. Wily? Okay, Cutman! Roll! And then you come to this game, and it's like, super serious Dr. Light. I can't believe we're going to war, X, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Mike Pollock had to do that with Dr. Eggman, but with the Sonic 06 rendition and Shadow the Hedgehog renditions of Eggman, but, well, he's still kind of the same, kind of. Either way, one difference about uh, the boss fight with this part, you just walk onto the ship. You don't actually go down into an elevator that takes you upwards, and there's no, like, secret extra hidden free man that you could take by going the back way, so you just walk onto the ship, and that's that. Storm Eagle! Don't tell me that even you've gone, Maverick! <sighs> Answer me, Storm Eagle! You're not the type of Reploid to do something like this! Forgive me, X. I... I must defeat you. Step into battle! Alrighty, so again, I do not have Storm Eagle's weakness. He is weak to Sting Chameleon's weapon, but I don't have that. And, uh, because I have the dash parts, I can survive a lot of his wind-pushing attacks, but, uh... General just is, he likes to go off screen and either fly horizontally across the floor or he'll occasionally dive from the top in a V-shaped formation, uh, but it's very easy to dodge. All you have to do is, is walk in one single direction 
and th that V-shaped drop, you can dodge it easily. Like, you don't even have to dash, just casually walk. I mean, it should be able to beat Storm Eagle without the dash, so they considered that. So you could really just dodge things pretty easily, I think. Uh, this move seems new. It might be his hard move move. I think I've seen him doing it in, in normal mode, too. But uh, I don't remember him doing it in the original X. He does this light little breeze that pushes you along, and then he shoots all these arrows from the, from the sky to rain down on you. And you sort of have to, to maneuver Mega Man to go back a little so it doesn't run into you, but the wind is still pushing you, so you don't want to go too far back, so you run into the, the arrow that comes before it and stuff like that. It can be a little bit tricky to manage, but again, I've never had a problem with Storm Eagle, because Storm Eagle's really predictable and easy to beat. And if anyone else got beat by Storm Eagle... <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where that came from. But anywho, folks, by defeating Storm Eagle, we got uh, one of the best abilities in the game. Probably the most broken ability of the game. It is the Metal Blade of Mega Man X. It is Storm Tornado. Storm Tornado, very simple. You shoot a giant wave of air. You shoot a little mini tornado that goes across the screen, and you get a lot of it, a lot of shots with that Storm Tornado, and because you can kill enemies that drop weapon energy, it will never really run out. You'll just keep refilling it, and uh, it's just a long wave of destruction. I didn't really use it that much in my original LP of Mega Man X, but in this game, I'm going to show you how goddamn broken Storm Tornado is. It's insane! <laughs> but I digress. Here we are on Armored Armadillo. I love this stage, I love this incredible soundtrack, I love the minecart ride. This is always the best place to farm for E-Tank energy, or sub-tank energy, I should say. And uh, mainly because all the enemies here are generally these bats that drop one pellet, or that, that only take one pellet to destroy. By the way, this little machine here, one storm tornado kills it! <laughs> uh, that thing at the front has spikes. Like, uh, the thing I just killed has spikes in the front, and if it touches you once, you die. I don't remember if that was actually the case in the original Mega Man X, but it is the case in this one, and they have designed uh, a future level around that gimmick in the Sigma Castle. Like I said, the Sigma Castle's kind of been changed, and we'll be seeing that when we get to them, but uh, those enemies' spike things can hurt you and kill you in one hit, so you gotta be careful with that. Uh, some people may be wondering what is still in this stage that was in the original Mega Man X. I never actually showed this off in my original LP, mainly because I didn't really discover it until like two years late, two years ago. <laughs> but uh, there is actually a classic Mega Man enemy in this level that looks like the uh, the bat enemies from Mega Man 2, you know. And uh, it is in this level, and I didn't show it off with X, but I will be showing it off with the second playable character. And that enemy is great, because every time you kill it, it has a really high chance of dropping uh, the biggest health energy pellet you can pick up, and a free man. And you can, like, farm free man with that enemy so easily. But again, I'll be showing it off with the second playable character. And there's our heart tank. So we got the heart tank and the sub tank of this level. Booyah. That makes my sub tank total three. And because I have the body armor, I take half damage, and now the game is basically, I'm never going to lose again. <laughs> Even in hard mode, now that I got all these heart tanks, my body damage has been reduced by half because of the body armor, I am just a god. Up here's an energy pellet, but uh, there's also a Dr. Light capsule that you can find over there that has a very special weapon, let's say, just like the original game. And yes, I will be showing it off later when I can actually get it. Till then, Armadillo! I am under strict orders to protect this mine. You don't need to take orders from someone like Sigma! He's insane! Open your eyes, Armored Armadillo! Whether he's insane or not, it's not my place to judge him. I must obey. Looks like you've gone maverick! I'm taking you out! Enough talk. I'm ready to obey my orders. Enough talk! Let's fight! You've gone maverick! <laughs> So again, if you have Electric Spark, the great thing is you can destroy Armor Armadillo's armor, essentially. 
and uh, make it so you can actually hit him when he's in his ball formation. So now I can keep shooting this guy even when he's bouncing all over the place. This guy seems the most different out of all the Mavericks. I mean, he still sort of operates the same like he did in the original game, but his uh, his patterns seem a lot more easy to read and a lot easier to dodge. He seems a little bit slower, is basically what I'm saying. He also has this really awesome uh, move where he goes along the floor, up the wall, up to the ceiling, and along the wall and the floor. He just goes in a circle, right? And he keeps getting faster and faster and faster and faster. And it's a really fun uh, jump timing uh, obstacle that I really love. It's like one of my favorite parts of the boss fight. So naturally, he doesn't do it <laughs> this time when I fight him, but he does do it the second time I fight him with the second playable character. Uh, but, uh, you know, Armored Armadillo is pretty fun to fight. He is de definitely dangerous if you don't have his weakness, because you can't damage him if his armor's on when he's spinning around. And uh, he does a good chunk of damage. His hard move is him bouncing all over the place while spreading four energy ball shots in the sky. It happened during the fight, so you probably saw it, but uh, that's his hard move mode. His hard mode move, and it, it's a little tricky to dodge. But we got rolling shield. It's okay. <laughs> it's a power. You can kill things with it. That's the highest praise I can give it. Anyway, see you in part four.